Snapmaker just released a new firmware, so I thought I would take this opportunity to put a video together on how to update the firmware on the Snapmaker 2 3D printers. Firmware updates often come to 3D printers to add new features, fix bugs, or generally make our lives a little easier. As of this recording, the newest firmware for the Snapmaker 2 A350 is version 1.11.4, and I'm upgrading from version 1.10.1. For me, the one big feature they're fixing is how sensitive the overheat protection is. It would cause a lot of false positives in certain conditions, like if I cancelled the print after seeing that the first layer wasn't going down very well, and then started printing it again too quickly, the printer would just suddenly set everything to zero degrees. The only way to fix this and get the print going again was to turn the printer off and wait for it to go through its boot-up procedure and then start the print over. Others have reported this behaviour happening in the middle of a print too, although it's not something I've experienced myself, but we'll test to see if this issue has been resolved after we update. So with the version of the firmware I'm already running, there are two different ways to update the firmware, either over Wi-Fi or with the USB stick. If you're running an earlier version of the Snapmaker firmware, then you might only have the USB option, but we'll get to that after we go through the Wi-Fi. Now, you should have set up your Wi-Fi during the setup procedure, and if you have, then all you need to do is go to the menu on the touchscreen, hit Settings, Firmware Update, and Download. Once it's downloaded, hit Update Now, and then it'll go off and do its thing. And that's pretty much it. If you want to update over USB or you're having Wi-Fi issues, or you're upgrading from an older firmware and you have no other choice but to use the USB, then you'll need to head on over to the Snapmaker forums and download the firmware binary file. Once it's downloaded, all you need to do is copy the bin file to the root folder of your USB stick and then plug it into the printer. On the Snapmaker 2's touchscreen, go to Files, then USB and tap on the bin file. Then it'll update, reboot and it's done! If you're updating from version 1.10.1 like I am, then there's nothing else you should need to do. If you're updating from an earlier version of the firmware, then it'll likely result in a full reset, so you'll probably want to run through your bed leveling procedure to set the printer up again. I'll have a video on bed leveling coming soon, but for now, let's see if that bug got fixed. I'll turn on the printer, tell it to start a print, and let it heat up. Now it's heated up and started printing, let's cancel it like we did before and start it going again before the print hedge fan turns off. And now it's printing as well as it should be. This will make life go much easier when you're dialing in filament, tweaking your Z offset or trying to resolve issues with certain models. Hopefully this means that issues some people have reported with long prints suddenly stopping mid-print will go away too as they seem to have been caused by the same issue. But as far as upgrading the firmware goes, that's it. This is a short video. But before I go, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who's checked out the Cura PLA profiles for the Snapmaker 2 and given feedback. I've done some slight updates to the start and NG codes to address a couple of issues, so head on over to the GitHub and compare to the ones you're using to see if you need to update. I'm planning to start working on TPU profiles for Cura next for a fun project I'm working on. As soon as those are ready, I'll update the GitHub and there'll be a video to go along with that. Yes, I'm still planning to make PETG profiles, but TPU just got bumped up a little higher up the priority list. But PETG is coming too. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to know when new videos come out. If you have any questions about updating the firmware on the Snapmaker 2, or any bed leveling questions while I'm working on getting that video together, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.